Welcome back to TechBed Pipe. Today we're unboxing the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio. We've never actually reviewed a Microsoft Surface product before on this channel, so we're really looking forward to taking a closer look at this. This comes with Windows 11. It has a 14.4 touchscreen, 120 hertz panel. It has that Dolby Vision IQ where the screen will actually adjust to changing light conditions. It has an i7 11 gen processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM. This also comes with an RTX 3050 Ti, so that means you can possibly do some light gaming on this. And then it comes with a 1080p HD camera, excellent for Zoom calls or conferencing calls. We'll test that out as well. Quad speakers powered by Dolby Atmos, fantastic. And then it has a magnesium alloy chassis. So like I said before, we're gonna unbox this. We'll take a look at the chassis, the keyboard, the trackpad, the screen, and then I'm gonna have some initial thoughts at the end. So let's get right into it. Taking a second here to get out. Alright, let's check it out. I think that's the power brick right there, and then I guess we have some documentation. Go ahead and set this to the side. Got the propaganda here. Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio. Thunderbolt 4 USB 4.0 has Windows Hello, front facing camera, studio mics, power button, Surface Connect port, has the Surface Slim pen storage, pen sold separately, and then the headphone jack. And we'll take a look at all those. Has safety guidance and not sure what that is. Looks like it's nothing. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the 102 watt power brick here. Proprietary connector and cables. All right. All right, let's check this out. Feels really rigid. Can you open it with one finger? Yes, you can, and it automatically turns on. We're gonna check out screen wobble real quick. Very little screen wobble. I will say there is a little bit of Little jiggle there goes about to right there. Chassis is very, very firm. No flex whatsoever. Trackpad, really great side size. It clicks all the way to the top. Very smooth. Look at that screen. That is gorgeous. Windows hello. No flex on the top. Has long rubber feet to keep this elevated off the desk. Looks like we have some airflow, maybe some fans on the side here. 
And then here are the USB-C's, two of them there. And then I'm guessing that's the power adapter port and then you have your headphone jack. No ports on the side. I wish it had a couple more, at least one more USB-C. And uh, there is no um, SD card slot, which is unfortunate. When talking about the I.O. on the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio, um, I also noticed a USB-A port on the 102 watt um, power brick. So I'm not exactly sure what that is for, if that actually works, if I was to connect up a mouse or a keyboard, if it would actually work on the um, laptop, but we'll figure that out and see if that actually is something that we can uh, leverage as another port for the laptop. Okay, let's open this up with one finger. Oh, let's make sure it doesn't turn on. I'm gonna power this off real quick. Okay. Like I said before, the palm rest, the chassis, very sturdy, no flex. The keyboard itself is pretty decent, has good return, good travel actually. I, I like that. You can hear it clicking as I type on it here. You can barely hear the click on the trackpad, but I can feel it clicking all the way around. All right. All right, something I haven't shown you about this laptop yet, and it's better described from the side here, but you can take the screen here and you can move it over the keyboard and use this for just the touch screen with the stylus that we don't have, but also it'll you can make it to where there is a keyboard here that you can type on. Not only that, is you can fold it all the way down and now your laptop has conveniently turned into a creative tablet which is very very awesome i like that a lot the surface laptop studio by itself weighs four pounds 0.5 ounces and then with the 102 watt power brick and cables, it comes out to four pounds, 14.0 ounces. We're not actually gonna open up the laptop to take a look at the internals, but out on the website here, you can check out um, some of the internal uh, information that Microsoft gives to you. And it looks like it has two dual fans up front. It has the i11H processor and then the RTX 3050 Ti. Um, it's a H series processor and it has the second gen RTX and then ours comes with the 32 gigs of RAM. Mine only has the one terabyte SSD. Talks about console calibration for gaming and your digital pin experience. You can go out here and check out some of these different videos that Microsoft has provided that talks a little bit more about the laptop, accuracy of the trackpad and so forth. Uh, if we take a look at the configurations of the different versions of this laptop that you can actually purchase. Um, it comes all the way from an Intel i5 16 gigs and 256 with the Intel Iris X up to the Intel i7 32 gigs of RAM, two terabyte SSD and the GeForce RTX 3050 Ti. And it looks like they're out of stock on all three of them that have the RTX GPU. The Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio. I really like this machine. It's well built. Um, it had very little screen wobble. The trackpad and the keyboard were great. Um, the only thing that I think it was lacking is an SD card slot for those who want to use this for creating uh, videos or photo editing and all that. Uh, an SD card slot would have made that a lot easier. Um, and maybe another USB-C uh, port would have been good too. Uh, we found the USB-A port on the power brick. Uh, 
uh, we'll try to figure out what we can use that for and we'll post that in the next video. I will tell you that after I unboxed this laptop, I went ahead and set it up and installed Final Fantasy XIV on it and played, uh, played it a little bit. And this laptop handled that game uh, without issue. So I'm really looking forward to do a little more gaming and bring those stats to you. We'll do some synthetic benchmarking and we'll bring those in the next video. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. It helps the channel. And not only that, it gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. So uh, for that, we thank you. We'll see you in the next one.